The New Power Start Part 6 Oracle and Tavern in Forge of Empires The final task of the Oracle Quest series requires the sale of a building. If there is no building for sale at the moment, you can build a free trail and sell it immediately. This also counts as a sold building. This completes the blueprint set for the Oracle of Delphi and it can be built. For the corresponding task we receive 20 forge points. We immediately invest these in the Oracle and thus complete the construction phase. This brings some supplies and some happiness. As a quest reward we get another blueprint for the coveted statue of Zeus. As nice as the building looks, I plan to demolish it as soon as the space is needed urgently. Until then, the building will remain standing without being further expanded. It is simply not worth it. For the Bronze Age, the values are excellent, but already in the next stage there are better buildings for the same footprint and the further we progress in the ages, the relatively worse this great building will be. To get more blueprints, we do some guild hopping. We leave the current guild, immediately look for another guild without admission restrictions and with as many members as possible. We aid all the players in that guild, then leave that guild too and rejoin another guild. We do this to collect coins and blueprints. If you want to know more about this, you can watch the video Printing Blueprints. With the development of brewery, the ruin next to the city then becomes a friend's tavern. Later in the game, this tavern will give us important advantages in exchange for special silver coins. For quite some time, however, we will refrain from spending the still very scarce silver coins on it. When friends visit our tavern, they leave some silver coins to pay the bill. That's why it's very important to have a lot more friends in the first place. We look which friends are suggested to us and invite all of them. In addition, I invite all neighbors. However, since in the Bronze Age many players have not yet unlocked their tavern, this is only the second best solution. If you invite players from the Iron Age and above via the ranking list, you will probably achieve much better results. We immediately invest the collected silver coins in the expansion of the tavern. There are five types of expansions. First, additional chairs. Second, if no more chairs fit to the table, buy a bigger table. Third and fourth, if chairs or tables are much more expensive than a better tray or floor, invest silver coins here. Fifth, the lowest priority is to improve the tablecloth. The goal is to develop all five upgrades to the maximum as quickly as possible. Then the tavern will become a constantly bubbling source of income for silver coins, which will later make it easier for us to achieve goals. You can see in the video that on this day in the game the winter event came to an end. So after the start on January 1st, the six videos of the Power Start series so far show a little more than the first three days in the game. But of course, you can take more time to achieve the same. Nobody is rushing us.